Welcome back to the video. We are here at the Los Angeles Grand Showdown for Shadow vs. Ball. Um, we're going to be doing a segment here where we're going to be talking with the participants about how they're feeling about the tournament and also doing a little small guessing game of where we have these cards. Um, we're going to have them guess the English name for these cards in JP Tech. So, really excited to do that and let's see how other people do. Alright, we are back here too. I'm joined by, um, state your name? Uh, Gordon. Alright, yeah, here too. So how are you enjoying this event so far? Uh, pretty good. 2-0 right now. Hopefully we can keep going. Perfect. Hopefully you can go far in this thing. And also want to ask, um, how well do you know your set 3? Hopefully good enough. Uh, Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show you a card. You're going to try to see if you can guess the card name. You'll get three different tries, and if not, I'll tell you what the name is. Right. So, and if you um, take, and if you are able to guess the card correct, you get to keep the card in JP Tech. So, I, uh, let me see, let me see. I think it's something Breeze. Um, is it Floral Breeze? Correct, you are correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Nice job. So yes, you get to keep the card in JP Tech. Congratu congratulations. Perfect. But yeah. Um, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm here with state your name. Angel. All right. And how are you? Um, how are you enjoying the event so far? Oh, it's been quite delightful event. There's a lot of decks that I wasn't expecting to face against in a couple of rounds because I faced against uh, Control Abyss. The second round went to uh, like a. Uh, Ramesha uh, sword, and right now with my new opponent, I had a control of this too. Ah, pretty good, pretty good. And um, for another question, how well do you know your set three? How well do I know my set three? Like a four. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a card in um, the JP side. Um, it's also set three, and then you're going to get you're gonna try to guess the card name. And if, you, um, if you're able to guess it, I give you the card. So, uh, you have three guesses, and here's the card. What's a heavy card? <laughs> uh, so, oh, I played this in the sneak table. The eight-pack card. Uh, I actually don't know. Ah, uh, you don't know. All right, so the answer was Bejewel Master. Bejewel Master. All right. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, joining in on this. Thank you. Alright, so I am here with, say your name? Swafford. Alright, so how are you enjoying this event so far? It's pretty good so far. I started out in the crappers bracket at 02, but now I'm 2-0 uh, I'm over the last two rounds, so 2-2, two two, pretty decent. Alright, so and um, so another question is, um, how well do you know your set 3? Uh, probably relatively well. We're talking not Uma, right? Like actual set 3? Yeah, actual set 3. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can do it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a, a guess this card from set 3. I'm going to show you a card in uh, Japanese, okay. and basically you're going to guess what the name is, and if you successfully guess what the name is, uh, you take the card. So, okay, sure. Alright, so this oh. is this card. Uh, hmm. You have three guesses. Is that, uh, is that Witch's Cauldron, like the backwards yeah, one? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Back congratulations. Right. You got it. Thank you so perfect. much. Perfect. Yeah, thank got you very much. Cauldron. Yeah, in JP. Yeah, I was hoping it would be like Hiragana and Katakana because I can actually read that. I have no idea what this stuff is. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. So you're kind of were able to potentially detect yeah, a skill to. I might be able to cheat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what we should do. We should try to find some players who probably know the skill of it too. <laughs> right. But yeah, thank you for joining. Yeah, thanks. So I'm here with say your name. Uh, well, I go by Astra, but a star. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So how are you enjoying the event so far? You know, it's, it's been pretty. I like it here. I like it here. Uh, I wish my games would have gone better. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. Um. So how well do you know your set three overall? Oh shit, set three. What? You know what? I'm like 50-50 on set three. I think. All right, perfect. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a card from set three in uh, JP text. And then what you're going to do is you're going to guess um, guess the card in uh, three guesses overall and see what, um, um, if you do. And if you win the, if you guess it correctly, then I'll give you the card. So here is the card. Oh, snap. 
That's so. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna call it Gem Secu Sanctuary or something. In uh, incorrect. You have two more guesses. I'm never gonna guess this. All right, so acolyte gem. <laughs> no, there's no it's gem. Like, 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 yeah. yeah. So there's no, there's no gem. There's no acolyte. There's no. Um, yeah. So you don't have no any sanctuary. of the words. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing on that. So last one. Crystal Palace. No. So the answer is Bejeweled Shrine. I was close. I was saying all the other names. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're really <laughs> close. To it. This is showing like how similar some of the Haven. Yeah. All right. All right perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. So we have brought back uh, boats um, and this welcome boats. How are you enjoying the tournament? Uh, it's fun. Uh, unfortunately, I hit a rough patch in the middle. Kind of ruined my streak. But it's been fun playing everyone. With more um, people coming out, with more of the content creators showing up here too, we got another content creator here. Say your name. Serial Tenon. Yeah, and also was on stream too. How was your stream match, by the way? My stream match, I opened all the hand rip, and he uh, he went first, so it's pretty it's pretty rough for him. Ah, nice, nice. Uh, good to see that too. So, yeah, how was your set three knowledge? I know you would know the knowledge of every single set, but um, how was set three specifically? Uh, so I, I go in the video editor sometimes to put the cards on, so I should know almost every card thanks to the video editor. <laughs> All right, I see that confidence. All right, so we're going to show you a card, and basically um, you get the card correctly, uh, you get to keep the card, and then uh, you have three different guesses. All right, so ready? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, is it, it's the fable card that's unplayable. <laughs> oh, no. Is it, is it, is it White Rabbit? No, there is rabbit in the name, though. Okay. You have two more guesses. Two more guesses. Man, you got a hard one. <laughs> rabbit, uh... It's one that draws. Oh, my God! You, 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 you can cook me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, shout-outs to the person who gave me these random cards and really the most random spread of all time. <laughs> I'm going to guess... Rabbit Attendant. Almost. There is one word missing from that, but you have two of the three words. And it's very closely related. Wait, it's not rabbit attendant? It's it's ra it's rabbit attendant, but according but we're guessing it off of English translation. There's one extra word on is there. There's another word on there? Yeah, there's there's another word on there. We can clarify. Okay. I can <laughs> we can clarify that we can clarify this on the English website. Okay. <laughs> but this is both for content though. We're actually okay. disputing this. <laughs> White rabbit attendant. Um no. <laughs> it is the answer is rabbit your attendant, but you know what? We're just giving it we'll say this is close enough. Oh! Just getting rabbit attend just getting two of two of the three yeah, words. Yeah, no, it's a rabbit play. Yeah, like, no, that's very, very close to you, yeah. Alright, perfect. I'm here with uh Saint Your Name. No, it's the anchor Uh perfect. And how are you enjoying the uh, tournament so far? Uh pretty good. I went four and three. I was hoping for top two, but you know, my life's not too far when I'm playing. So set three was when I kind of got serious. But, uh, yeah. All right, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a guess this card. Basically, I'm gonna show you the card in the JP text, and your basic name is to try to guess what card this is. And if you guess it correctly, you get to keep it, and you have three guesses. So we'll show you the card right here. Oh, that's Bejeweled Triangle. Ah, finally. 
finally someone got it. So yeah, we've been yeah, they've been struggling. Um, yeah, a lot of people have been struggling with this card. So I'm finally glad someone um, actually recognized it. Yeah, no one plays this card. It's uh, perfect. But yeah, thank you. You finally ended the long streak of people not getting this correct. All right, so now we here have the person who got a runner up at the world first ever world championships. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Bella Boo. You've probably seen me around if you're into this game. I'm obsessed with forest and everything else like this game has. Yeah, really faint to you too. Yeah, I actually saw the list and I was like, I was very, very inspired and really showed how strong Rose Queen can still be overall. Um, do you play forest today for yourself? I did. I yeah. won gambling. <laughs> ah, yes, too. So was it the Hunter variant? Was it Amitaz or something different? It was just a pure Amitaz. I swapped from the Hunter about 10 minutes before the event on to fairies because they were like, oh, we're going to have you on stream. You should use your God Pack fairies. <laughs> so wow, so they know it, too. So, yeah, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the event, too. Oh, yes. um, how, what, how was the event for you? Uh, I topped 32. Uh, my two losses in that were Dragon Haven, which was surprising. Uh, and then in top 32, I lost to another dragon. Both uh, went first, both had the nuts, nothing I can do. But uh, still had fun. Ah, nice, terrific. And um, so what we're doing here too, how familiar are we with set three in Child vs. Evolve? Flame of Lava team? It's, Correct, it's yes. It's fine. Uh, no, yeah. Enough. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, a segment called Guess the Card. I'm going to show you a card basically for, um, with JP Text, and basically your goal is to answer what the card, um, what the card name is. We'll give you three guesses, and if you are able to get this correct, then uh, you get to keep the card. So we're going to show you the card right here. Oh, uh, that's the evolved form. I don't know how to say his name, but he just has aura, right? Um, no, that's not Monryu. I don't know what that is, if I'm being uh, real with you. Ah, uh, okay. I thought um, it was the aura thing, but it's not. Ah, uh, okay. So the card is uh, Angel of Darkness. Okay. So, yeah, but yeah. Thank what you for that, too? Uh, yeah, do <laughs> I explain? Uh, so it's a uh, sacrifice a falling angel forward to heal. Oh, Lord it's one of the Dragon fallen Man. angel cards. Uh, uh, okay. But yeah, thank you, thank you, perfect. And yeah, get some. Oh, um, it's it's some uh, world representation here too. We got a lot of different people. If you saw the um, standings, there's a lot of people with actually the flair of world of world finals participants. Yeah, so <laughs> three or two of them made it into top 32. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of different spread here. It really shows how how a lot of people come here from uh, different parts oh, of yeah. the area too. Big, big event. Yeah, it really is. Shouts to North America. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Alright, more on the topic of um, content creators here. A lot of different content creators are showing up here too. We got someone flying from internationally, so welcome here. Uh, um, nice what's your name? Uh, Bima. Yeah, um, and what is your channel? Uh, Shadow Best Monster. Yeah, perfect. So how was, how was the flight from here to LA? Um, I got pretty lucky to be honest. I probably used up all my luck on the flight because I got an entire roof myself. <laughs> it was a 13 hour flight as well. So. Ah, perfect. But yeah, welcome here. Um, excited for also the other grand show that's happening in Asia? Uh, yeah, definitely. I've already uh, booked my leave in, so I'll definitely be going for that. And a bunch of the uh, BCSs around the same time. Alright, perfect. So, um, for set knowledge, um, for set 3 specifically, how knowledge are you on set 3? Uh, is that the Flame of Violet set? Correct. Uh, recently. Uh, yeah, perfect. So what do you know about it so overall and what's like some stuff that do um, um, you remember from it? Um, it's been so long. Uh, I do recall like... Uh, look, honestly, my knowledge of this is like super like sketchy. Because I know at the moment like the Chinese know is like mixing set and set freaking. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I heard about that too. And so they're playing like a really weird metal, like it's no like, Gorkha, so it's gonna like Tachyon, they're like a Guru Cap and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, that is, I did hear about that. Yeah, there's definitely some cooking, definitely, yeah, especially this set. Alright, well, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you a set 3 card. Okay. And um, you're gonna basically try to guess the name of it. It's gonna be in JP Text. So, um, and if you get it correct, you will uh, you get to keep the card. So, here is what the card is. Oh, this card, it's like Carving of Darkness, right? Very, very close. So you got two of the four words. Okay. Well, which one did I miss? So you got two more. Oh, you got you got two more guesses. Right. Uh, I'm, to explain that. I'm, ter I'm terrible with names. Like, I know it's not Angel Darkness. I think it is like. Oh, I see. Is it cheating if I read the Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Go, go ahead. Take as much clues as as, as you can. I'm now bear in mind too, we're also basing this off of the English translation, so it might not be the direct thing, but. <laughs> um, 
it, we have, you have a general idea. I think at the moment you have a general idea. You have two of the, from what your first guess was, you do have two of the four words. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, like, I did recall this card because I did a deck profile with a guy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the uh, I think it was in Sydney. Oh, no, in Melbourne. So, like, oh, I did, like, a YouTube thumbnail of this card as well. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, We're really stumping people today, especially the creators with a lot of cards that they would not expect to be trouble with. Uh, I know it's like off darkness, right? Is that is that the two correct one? It's yeah. One of the one of the words is correct. It's of is one of the words that was correct. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Another one is a bit of a surprising one that you uh, did get from the past one. Well, harbor. Harbor. Uh, I don't know how to. Yeah, there's a, there's a harbor. You're, harbor you're of. It's like temptation or something like that. Uh, so, and then, yeah, that's it for your guesses. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, what is it to? It is Harbinger of the Night. Harbinger of the Night. But you know what? Because of how, because of how we're able to get to two, getting two of the four, you're, you can keep it. All right, thank you. Yeah, I d yeah, we say that too because that was um, really, really. I mean, yeah, getting Harbinger is also. Um, very, very got, you, 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 you got very close. Yeah. I would be surprised if like the digital name is different from like the. No, 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 Events generally speaking, like the crowd and the players, like you know, it was great seeing everyone. I think uh, definitely Bishro can take some feedback on board. I think um, it doesn't really make sense why seven rounds don't eight. I think the top 32 card doesn't make much sense. Uh, I think, for example, um, if eight zero Swiss, uh, seven zero Swiss player loses in top 32, then like they finish seven one, they're just 30 second. But um, you know, the person they burst, obviously it's, it's 30 second seed, right? It's like five two. It's like essentially like um, you can get these really edge cases where like. You know, basically the guy who's like 7-1 with their final score can be like worse than someone whose final score is like 7-3, for instance, right? So like I think like it logically doesn't make much sense. I think logistically it doesn't make much sense. Why not just run the extra Swiss rounds and then like cut to top 8 or top 16? Um, I think like every other card game does this. I, I think apart from that, I really like the step up in pricing. I think that's great. Um, I think it's good that you have like a huge event with like 200 plus players. Yeah. Um, so like, you know, definitely a step in the right direction. Um, I'd like to see them doing more. But I also believe that it's still work to be done. Perfect, yeah. I, I especially love the insights, um, especially being one of the forefront people within the content side. So really great to um, hear from your insights. And yeah, thank you all for all right, we're rounding off the um, segment over here too. We got uh, one last kind of creator here. I want to introduce yourself your name. Uh, I go by Kit or Katori online. I run the Burn One channel, the Shadow vs. Ball channel. All right, too. So, how are you enjoying this tournament so far? It looked like we're getting to the tail end of this. <laughs> I enjoyed it until this last one. <laughs> we made top 32, surprisingly, and then unfortunately, it low rolled a lot into a uh, sword player that was high rolling me with like triple courtly dance, and I was like, oh, that's pretty hard to beat. So, uh, really rough. All right. And um, so, we're, in, we're doing basically a sub. So I guess the card thing, how familiar are you with set three? Uh, hopefully it's familiar enough. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you a card with the JP text. Mm -hmm. uh, basically what you're going to do is um, uh, we're going to show you the JP text, and then you get three guesses. And uh, yeah, if you get this correct, you get to keep the card. So okay. here is the card. Okay. Wait, do I need to name the card or what? Yeah, name the card, yes. Oh, I don't even remember the names of the cards. I don't remember the effects. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Um, good. Every this, yeah, we've been really stumping a lot of content oh, creators today yeah. with, with remembering some of the names of these cards. Um, <laughs> dang. It's like I, I'm. This is probably completely wrong, but I'm just say Battle Angel. Or In battle or incorrect. I believe the trait is technically angel, if I'm not mistaken. Fallen angel. Oh, yeah, wait, technically guess, oh, am I supposed to guess the trait? Or oh, that's his name, Fallen Angel? No, 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 no. You gotta oh, yeah, guess the name. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, Fallen Angel? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but there, there's a hint for you, I guess. If that if that gives you anything. <laughs> that gives you anything. Yeah. So. Um, man. I guess what? Fall, 
Ninja was, Warrior? <laughs> all, right, so, all right, so the last hint, I'll give, I'll give you a hint okay. because it's a, there are four words in this card. So. Oh, that's more than two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, oh, wait, it... Oh, man, I feel like there's like... I'm not gonna, I, I have no idea. Yeah, no, that's it. It's, yeah. it's Harbinger of the Night. Oh, yeah, right. Harbinger, yeah. that's it. Uh, in my head, I was like, uh, why do I keep coming back to Abyss or something like that in my head? But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's it's in stumping a lot of stuff, too. We have a lot of different um, cards that stumped a lot of people, especially <laughs> the, um, the, Bejeweled, the Bejeweled cards. So, yeah, all right. But yeah, thank you for joining in. Yeah. And yeah. You know, see you around the tournaments. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, so that has been the video. Thank you all for joining in. It's very fun to get some people's different insights, get different content creators and participants throughout the event. It's been really a fun thing, and we would like to shout out um, Richard USA and also uh, everyone that's part of this. Shout out Psy Games as well. A lot of different areas, and excited to do more of these videos and hopefully more tournaments in the future with Shadow vs. Ball specific. Other than that, that's been it for the video. Thank you for watching. Continue to press darkness, and we will see you all next video.